Welcome back to the game day show. We're going to take a week off of our football mom segment for a very special reason. Mitch Petras was an Arkansas offensive lineman from Carlisle, Arkansas. He played three years in the NFL, winning a Super Bowl ring with the New York Giants. Petras passed away from a heat stroke on July 18th of this year, and his parents, Sue and Phil Petras, are joining me now. And thank you both so much for taking the time to be here. You thank you for asking. One thing that I learned when I was reading about Mitch and getting ready for this was that he was actually a tight end in high school and then went to fullback before going to the offensive line. So made a few position changes. Yes. Did you guys have a favorite position that he played, Sue? They were all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it's your son playing, they're all good. Uh huh. Phil? He enjoyed them all. And like I say, he didn't mind playing wherever they wanted him to play. He played fullback and tight end in, uh, in high school. And then he was recruited as a tight end. And when he got here, well, like I said, Gus Malzahn changed him around, put him, he was recruited as a, as a, as a, uh, Offensive lineman, yeah. and then Gus put him back in the backfield, and then <laughs> Gus left, and they put him back on the line, you know. Uh -huh. So anyway, but he's he enjoyed, I say this, whatever, wherever, wherever they wanted him, that's where he played, and he he loved it. It so. seemed like the line worked out for him. A first team All SEC, second team yeah. All SEC yeah. honors. Watching him live out his dream and play for his home state, be a hog. What was that like as parents? Oh my gosh. Uh, it was awesome. You know, a lot of, I think sometimes you'll see parents live through their children. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to do that. Mitchell yeah. brought life <laughs> to our family, so to speak, and, uh -huh. and everything that he did. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd walk into a room and everything would just light up. You either thought he was really awesome or really obnoxious. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> you know what is really cool as parents is a lot of parents whose kids play football might not get past high school. But you watched your son play in high school play in college, play in the NFL, and win a Super Bowl ring. When he won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants, how proud were you as parents? What was that moment like for you? We were sitting there in the stands, because we had a really good seat there. Uh, and it was just, I mean, the confetti and everything was just flying through the air. It was awesome. It mm -hmm. was awesome. And to know that he had achieved in the few short years that he had been with the Giants, he had achieved what some players never do in mm -hmm. a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And it was it was thrilling. It really was. Yeah. So. One of the most exciting things about the, the Super Bowl game was uh, <laughs> they uh, were going to have us go out in the field and to, to the winners. And so what they did, they had us backstage and to line up to, you know, the winners go out here and mm -hmm. the, the losers go out here. <laughs> and the game was so close, they didn't know. And they said, well, Y'all just kind of hang out. We really don't know who's winning this thing. And they had the big screen up there, you know. And I'll never forget, I was watching there. And, you know, uh, the, the, the seconds were ticking down. The ball was in the air. The seconds were, I mean, the game was over. And it was a question of whether or not he caught or not as to who it was. And so we really didn't know who was going to win. But like I say, they, they pulled it out. And it was a very... Uh, very special moment. Yeah. So. I got to know Mitch from afar watching him on Fox 16 do high school coverage. <laughs> I mean, he had me in tears. I was laughing so hard sometimes with some of his reports. Does that just encompass who Mitch was oh, yes. as a person? Oh, yes. Because he would usually call his dad or yeah. myself after mm -hmm. the show was over. We wanted to make sure we caught it. And if, what did you think? What did, <laughs> and sometimes I'd tell him, well, son, you're a little over the top here. You know, mm -hmm. I said, I don't know about that. He said, Mom, my fans love me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, he. that was Mitch. That was everything that you saw out there, um, the excitement that he portrayed during a game mm -hmm. or when the calls he was uh, seeing out there and sharing with the fans. Yeah, that, he got pumped when it came to football. I know since July it's been really hard for this family. Yeah. How important is it for you to be the honorary captains in today's game? You have your positive energy oh, yeah. shirts <laughs> if you want to show some of our fans watching. Uh, yeah. but, to, but to represent Mitch today and to be honorary captains... How important is that and what does that mean to this family? Well, the fact that uh, the university asked us to do that is extremely special. Like I say, Mitchell had a place in his heart for Arkansas and the Razorbacks. And uh, mm -hmm. he, uh, he, he desired to do what he did. And uh, he, uh, I was talking to one of the coaches a few days, uh, a little while back, and we were talking about Arkansas and the fact that, uh, you know, the way Mitch had it, he, he talked about the, the, the tenacity that Mitch had and the way he played again, it was kind of contagious, you know, the fact that it was just, uh, it really, he had, he had a, he had, he had something that was very easy caught, so to speak, and, and, and Mitch loved it. He, he, he played his heart out for it. And that's, you know, Mitch, and I'll just say this, Mitch was not a super uh, athlete as far as ability, but he had the heart, yeah. and the heart is what made him what he was. He had the heart and the tenacity. To it's do what it. matters. Yeah, yeah the hard and, work. 
And to just wrap this up, would that be Mitch's legacy, the heart and the love that he had oh, yeah. just for life and for Arkansas? The heart and the yeah. love and the, the thing that Mitch was known for is he was for the underdog. Mm -hmm. We've heard stories after stories about who he's helped. When he's helped, when he, when he perceived you as being the underdog, I mean, he went to work for you. It's just that plain and simple. We, we didn't hear, I mean, after his death, I heard a whole lot. I didn't, have, I didn't know. I didn't have a clue how much he had done. We heard from, from players. We heard from coaches about different stories that he helped somebody that he thought was needed help. And, I mean, it was just, uh, just so pretty if, amazing. Mm -hmm. Some of his instructors here at the university also, yeah. they wrote letters. But Mitch would tell you, mm -hmm. uh, he said, yeah. you need confidence? Just touch me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need energy? Just touch me. He'd well, tell we, you that. We loved him, and we miss him. An honor to have both of you on Thank the show today. You. Thank it's you so much to be here. for joining us and enjoy today Thank and you the game. Coming up next on the Game Day Show, your homecoming king and queen announced last night. Get to know him a little bit more after the break. <laughs>